medicine as a profession currently is really thinking a lot more about social issues and humanism issues, even as it moves, you know, headfirst, you know, diving headfirst into, into new tech. And for me to get to spend time learning from people who've done that for their careers uh, and thought about these issues in ways we in medicine just graze at, at superficial levels is, was so exciting. These are the issues that determine how the science gets translated into real human lives. And if we don't understand the social and human context of how our science affects communities or individual patients, we're never going to reach our potential or really achieve our mission as physicians. I think people who see themselves not as the traditional CASBIS person, I mean, I know when I was told about this fellowship, I thought, well, I can't go. What does that have to do with me? Even though I think about human behavior constantly as both a clinician and a writer. So maybe people need to think more broadly about what their work is and that they don't have to come from a scholarly discipline that's necessarily considered part of the behavioral sciences or social sciences to be able to make a contribution and equally to learn from the other people here. That it is a place that welcomes uh, an interdisciplinary approach and that is richer for the different perspectives that come in. In our first week, we, <laughs> it was mind blowing from the beginning because everybody stood up and for 10 minutes told us about themselves and their work. And that, that was priceless. But the other incredible thing that happened in that first week was when Woody Powell said, you've come in with an idea and we accepted you based on your idea, but it is totally fine. In fact, probably better for you to go somewhere else. Doesn't mean you don't necessarily tackle that topic but let this experience change what you thought. You know, just be open to what happens. And I just sort of let things change and I didn't worry about that. And I think in, in so-called real life, I would have worried about that. Oh, I promised I would do X and such. So I must do that, even if I have this idea that's likely better. So I think there was something about that liberation in the first week and combined with the stimulation of people from so many different fields, but with a communal desire to learn, to challenge, um, and, and to draw from different disciplines that really uh, made a difference for me, it was something I would not have done otherwise. CASBIS definitely changed how I worked and what I did. And I think it did that for a couple of reasons. Um, partly, it's, it's sort of the secret sauce of the group uh, and their focus on all sorts of social issues. And, and I suppose, particularly for somebody not from the social sciences, weekly learning from the seminar about how other people think and address problems, uh, there are things they assume as, as sort of insiders that I knew nothing about and that opened up my work in new ways and led me down avenues I would not have gone down and the the upcoming book is better for it. I do know that in this place with these people and the opportunity to eat lunch with them every day and sit down with a random assortment of people with really different areas of expertise was transformational for my work. trying to think of something new to say. <laughs> you definitely don't want me to sing. I know, like, it, trust me, that would be a mistake. <laughs>
did that work? <laughs>